Hey guys, Jeff here for Pond Max, coming to you from my backyard in my pond in Downers Grove, Illinois. Today I want to give you a little tutorial on our larger size Evo Mag Drive Pond Pumps. These pumps range anywhere from 1,800 to 3,600 gallons per hour. We're going to show you the features and benefits, dig a little bit deeper into the pump, and then we're going to set it up in my pond to show you the true power behind these. These pumps are mainly used for medium to larger size ponds and water features. And we're gonna get one set up in my skimmer here in just a minute and show you what they can do. Getting into the features and benefits of these pumps, the biggest part of our Evos is the smart bag technology that they feature. This is gonna protect against potential burnout from low water. We'll explain a little bit more on that later. But another feature of it, if we go on the side here, is the power consumption. This pump alone is drawing at 160 watts, making it one of the more energy efficient pumps on the market. The other benefit of this, as you can see right here, is that this pump at full capacity will push water up to and about 20 to 21 feet of head height. Digging a little bit deeper into the pump itself, you'll notice all of these Evos come with a 32 foot long cord, making it beneficial for you whether your electricity is right next to your pond or has to stretch a little bit to get there. We'll show you how easy the maintenance is on these. To get inside the pump itself, you remove the face the quarter turn, reach down at the bottom, grab the foot plate, it'll slide right off. Now take the volute itself, give it a quarter turn, and you're inside the pump. No tools necessary, no screwdrivers, nothing. All with a twist of your hands, you can get inside to check and see what's wrong. Pull the impeller out, the O-ring will come with it. Give your impeller a little bit of a clean, get it ready. When you're ready to do this, put it back in. The notches will lock into place and it'll sit back down. Slide your O-ring back on and now we walk right back through the steps. Put the volute back on, quarter turn to tighten it down. Slide the foot plate back in. The turn of the filter, you're all set back up, your pump's ready to go. Now getting into the fittings, comes with a few different styles as you can see here. Comes with two PVC glue-in fittings. So if you choose, you can run this pump in line. Comes with an adapter, there are also two of these to do the same thing. The swivel head fitting for if you're in a skimmer or not and need to have your fittings turned one way or another, simple easy turn will get you lined up the way you need to go. And the last piece is the step down hose tail fitting that we have here. All right guys, now we're gonna show you how to replace the pump. Put, we're gonna take out my old pump in my skimmer box. We're gonna replace it with our Evo pump. Let's take this skimmer net out. Give us some space to work with. Get this old pump unhooked. Don't mind the backflow. Some of you will see that based on where your check valve is or is not. Let's take the whole unit itself out. All right guys, now that we've got the pump out of the skimmer, I'm gonna show you how to get this hooked up. I'm gonna be replacing an old 3,000 gallon per hour pump with our Pondmax Evo 3,000 gallon per hour pump. Now, as you can see here, Sizing is quite different, making it a little bit easier to get this to fit inside of my skimmer. You can unscrew that, pick that right off. Utilize the old fitting here. And to get this hooked back up, what we're gonna need is we're gonna need the swivel head fitting. Let's get that screwed on nice and tight. Leave that upright for right now. You're gonna need the adapter from our, our fittings. Get that screwed right on there. Look how easy that is. Couple of our pieces with the existing fittings from your pond and your pump and get yourself set back up to go. Just put back down. Remember to make sure all your fittings are as tight as possible to prevent any leaks. 
tighten that back in place. For the purpose of this demo, I won't be cleaning this out, but I recommend when you do to clean yours out and start fresh. We're all set up, let's get this plugged in. Now we're dropping our wattage. We're still saving about 90 watts from this pump to the original pump we swapped out for. We're at about 160 watts of power consumed with our 3,000 gallon per hour Evo pump. Just to show you what it looks like, we've now got our 2400 GPH Evo hooked up in my pond, just to kind of show you what kind of head pressure it produces in this setting. Now to give you a little demonstration, we've got our 1800 gallon per hour Evo hooked up. For the amount of run it's got, still got pretty good head pressure, still looks good in a pond this size.